everyone welcome to this new video and today i got this really cool Huion pen display which i'll be using in photoshop so maybe you are a photoshop user and you are thinking about using some of these and i actually never used one of these before so this is my first time to actually work with a Huion pen display with the screen on it i had one before without a screen but this one has a screen so i'm definitely interested in how fast they can get along with this thing here so let's find out and let's see how someone that never used it before will use it today all right let's jump right into photoshop and create a new file so i'm gonna go to file new and start with a brand new file i'm gonna go for widescreen with these settings here okay and that's fine now i have a plugin if i go to plugin I have a plugin called Pixel Squid, and this is a pretty cool plugin for 3D models. So you can basically search from the library for 3D models. Here you can search for anything else, but I already searched for what I want in this creation. So I'm just gonna add them. So I click on this object here and it adds this to my composite. Now we can rotate the, the 3D model here. So it's pretty easy to select one angle that you want so you don't need to worry about the image because you can obviously select every angle you want now let's make this a bit bigger here i think something like this will be fine maybe a bit bigger and here we can select if you want shadows or not if you want to create your own shadows or you don't need shadows at all you can disable them but i want shadows and i also want to make sure it's in the high resolution Right, so shadows on high resolution. So this will be the center of our composite. Now, I wanna create a new layer and add a new object. And now I'm gonna add the, the elephant. So I actually wanna make sure the elephant sits on the right side. So I'm gonna transform this and flip this horizontal like that. And if I go back to the elephant here, make sure sit on top of this thing here now because we can rotate this 3d model i can simply just rotate it in this area here and it changes in our composite as you can see here now i'm not sure about the shadows it can look funny but let's try it out first of all he needs to be slightly bigger and also rotate him like that maybe a bit smaller because it's still a baby. I think something like this is fine. I'm gonna place this here. We have these little things here that I want to remove. So I'm gonna click on the layer of this thing, this bench or whatever it's called. And now I'm gonna zoom in. Let's see, I made the shortcuts on this tablet. Uh, there it is. And now I can just simply Click on the mask, select the brush, and let's just brush this away. Make sure to have passing in flow, passing in flow at 100. Like that, and just brush this away. I'm not gonna do this really precise because I don't care so much about this now. I can always change that later. All right, so we have the elephant here. Let me zoom out a bit. We have the elephant here, and now I'm gonna add another layer, and I'm gonna go back with the plugin from Pixel Squid, and now I'm gonna add a new object here, and this time I'm gonna select the butterfly. And the butterfly will be sitting on the other side. Obviously, we need to make it a lot smaller than this. Let's just make it small something like that and let's rotate it to that side maybe something like this and again i'm gonna use high resolution and we have our idea now let's make sure the shadows are on don't even see a shadow on the butterfly because we have a different angle like that now that's better now just wait till it loads sometimes it takes a bit to load but not in a hurry i can wait all right now let me zoom out here and 
Let me close this for now. If I hold down shift, select all these layers, I can move them around. Press Ctrl T to resize to fill up the whole area. This is fine. Now, let's see. Let's work on the background. So, shadow looks a bit funny now, but I'll fix that later. I want to make sure I have a background and I'm gonna select this landscape. I have uh, all these images in the description of the video in case you didn't know that. So you can just easily click on the link and download them. Now let's make this bigger. It needs to be a lot bigger than this. Because we want to make sure it looks real with the size. Let's see. Like this. Something like this. Maybe even bigger. Let me zoom out here a bit and make this even bigger this should work i think something like this will be fine now it looks like this bench is like floating on top of the grass so i want to make sure the bench goes inside the grass so i'm gonna select the brush and i'm gonna search for grass oh. and you have this dune grass and grass brush from photoshop if you don't see them, just load up the brushes and select legacy brushes from Photoshop. Now let me zoom in here a bit. And what I want to do now is I want to disable color dynamics here. And then I'm going to brush the bottom part here. And with this pen display, it's pretty cool to brush stuff because I have a more natural feeling of creating something now instead of using my mouse. I'm used to a mouse. I've been using a mouse the whole, my whole life. And when I create something now with this pen display, it's pretty cool that it feels so natural. All right, let's make this a bit smaller. And I need to make sure to brush only the back side. So I'm gonna make this brush really small now. So let's see, make the brush smaller there. So I can brush the back side like that. It's not perfect, but you'll get the idea. So if you wanna make this perfect, you have to like zoom in and correct things again, switch sides here, get rid of that and so on. So this can take a lot of time if you do everything perfect, but I'm gonna leave it like this. Now, I think it's just fine for now. You can see here we have already this shadow from this bench thing, so Oh, what is it called? A swing? Probably a swing. All right, so this is the, uh, the elephant. I think I'm gonna disable the the shadow from the elephant because it's a bit dark. Let's try it out. If I go to pixel squid, I can just easily disable the shadow from this object. And I forgot to make it high resolution, so let's make sure it's high resolution. Let me close this and put it like that. Now, I want to draw a shadow, so I'm going to create a new layer. Press right mouse and create a clipping mask. And if I select a brush, let's use a normal brush here. General brush. I can just easily... Oh. Need to drop the opacity here. I can just easily brush the shadows here instead of using the original one. So I have a bit more control now when I brush it myself. Maybe like that. And also here. Just to brush these areas darker. And that is already fine for now. All right, now let's also work on the lighting a bit. So I'm gonna add, oh, I'm gonna work on the lighting of this elephant. So I'm gonna add a curves, which I always do to create some highlights. Then press Ctrl I to invert this, to get rid of it. And then just brush some parts lighter, like if I have a light coming from there, 
I need to brush some areas lighter on this elephant to make it look more interesting. Let me bump up this brush and you can see there we can create some nice reflections on that side. Maybe a bit here. Maybe that was too much. Not too much. Just a little bit extra. Now, the same goes for for the darker areas. We also need to brush some dark areas. So I'm gonna create a new curves layer and this time I'm gonna make the areas darker. Press Ctrl I again or Command I if you're Mac to get rid of it. And then just simply use a brush to press some areas darker, like maybe here on the bottom. And let's do the same for this bench. I think it needs some darker areas. Let's make it dark first. Press Ctrl I, Command I, and just use a white brush to brush some areas darker. Maybe you wanna have it a little bit darker here, a little bit darker at the bottom, maybe darker there, and so on. Maybe this is all right. Now let's do the same for this butterfly let's add a new curves layer and just make it dark and brush some areas lighter again all right i think this is already pretty good and you get the idea here to create this kind of stuff and now i can just simply take this layer for instance maybe i want to have it a bit lighter I can just simply control this layer. And you can see how fast I actually use this pen tablet because I never used a pen tablet before and now I just easily create something with it. Of course you can go into detail and create a lot of more stuff here but I think this already looks pretty cool. Let me give it a bit of a gradient at the bottom here and change the blend mode to overlay like that. And Let's do one more thing here. Let's go to edit. Sky replacement. And let's just add a new sky and you can simply just load up a sky in this or use the ones from Photoshop. But I have a sky here, so let's do sky replacement. And I'm gonna select another sky. So not this one. I'm gonna load up my own sky. So I have here sky, press open, there it is. And I'm gonna use this sky for my composite. And here I can change the settings from, from the sky to make it look more real. I think a bit more like that. Let's move this a bit to the left and this is fine. And they can always have control of this guy here. Maybe I want to have it a bit less. All right, let's add some curves on top of this. Make it a bit lighter like that. And maybe a bit more contrast. So yeah, that is pretty much it. That's how easy it is to create something like this. So thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video and catch you on the next one.